What we're about to do tonight is deploy our decoy car. We'll be able to control the vehicle from rolling up the windows, locking the doors, lock, shutting it down. All right, shut it down, shut it down. Get on it right away. This way, we don't have to worry about a situation where the guy's trying to escape, ramming out, or doing any of the situations where somebody's going to get hurt. He's stuck in the car. We're not saying, oh, this car has the keys in it, now go steal this car. What we're saying is, you have the right to leave the keys in your car and not have to worry about somebody coming over and taking your car. If, it's, if it looks hairy there, too many gang members or anything like that, just don't drop it. We'll figure another location. Yeah, I already, yeah, we, we told you. Got, you got your weapon and everything? Yeah, I got my vest on, too. All right. What's the activity looking like on decoy? Right now, we're eyeballing two males. They walk past the vehicle, both looked at each other, looked hard at the decoy car. Were they together the whole time? One of the males uh, with the black leather jacket just walked past it. The other one is staying on the corner. So he's probably scoping the area for his friend there who's just waiting. They stop to come back towards it. They want to take. They wouldn't be standing there this long if they didn't want to take it, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're looking around. One of the males is starting to walk. Okay, driver's side. Opening door. Door is open. Vehicle has been stolen. Okay, moving. Springfield at West. Parkway North. Take the other side. All right, shut it down. Yeah, shut it down, shut it down. Good, good, get up, get up on them. Okay, vehicle's still rolling. Vehicle rolling slowly, five miles an hour. Just trying to get up, stand by. I'm right here, you want to do it now? Do it now. Watch your weapons, watch your weapons. Your hands up. On the roof. Get them off. Oh. Get them on the roof. Put them on the roof. On the roof. You just ain't even taking for a ride. That's a dummy car, yo. <laughs> just for you. It's a dummy car. What stupid was he, yo? I don't know. This guy has a carry me or something. I'll pick me up. Bro, I can't do it. Oh Bro, what's your name, man? I'm gonna tell you my name. Oh, you are gonna make it difficult or what? I got ID on you. you know? Okay. Yeah. You got ID on you? Yeah. Where's it at? In my pocket. Okay, so why don't you just tell me what your name is? This is gonna tell me. What? What is this a joke? How do you get up and down steps? What you mean? How do you get up and down steps? Yeah. Pull my pants down. I don't need to hey, pull your pants down. What's the problem? Your legs don't bend. I got what? staples, bro. Hey. You have staples in I your legs. I got staples and a metal plate. And a metal plate in yes. both legs or one? In, oh. In my left leg. Could you step over with your right leg? Excuse me? Watch your head. Watch your head. Son, we're going we're to slide you back. Uh, right now, it's, it's 5.07 in the morning. Well, I don't know if he, you know, is you know, intoxicated or what, but he kept on saying, I will, you know, I knew this was a dumb, dumb car. I knew this was a dumb, dumb car. I'm so mad at myself. You know, now we're at the Irvington Police Department. The passenger said he didn't know what was going on, which obviously he was with his buddy all night, walking up and down the Ave, so he knew whose car it was and whose it wasn't, you know? The passenger, he didn't actually steal the car. He's gonna be charged with receiving stolen property. The individual who got into the driver's side and actually engaged the ignition and put his foot on the gas, He's going to be charged with the uh, theft of a motor vehicle, receiving stolen property, and probably some other charges. It's been, it's been a busy night, a successful night, but a busy night tonight.